Hey, it's Joe Glass, Man Animator, and I got a great script for you today. If you ever wanted to listen to a video instead of watching it, if you have the video file, now my files here are MP4s, but they can be a lot of different formats. Um, let's say you want to rip that into an MP3 file. So first you, you can choose select files or select folder. This is um, if you wanted to get the path and navigate to it. Uh, and the folder would actually recursively loop over them. But I'm gonna, and I'm gonna change this to let's say 96K. If human speech at 32, it's a little garbled, but it's very tiny files, which is great. And this is going to be appended to the name, so it doesn't overwrite if you had. If you had a 320K file and you wanted 32K, and they're both MP3 files, you can use this tool to actually convert it in Bitness as well. Um, and that's why we have this, because in case it's the same file name and extension, um, it would overwrite it. So I'm going to go with 96K. Now let me drag one in here. And now this is what's really cool. Let me see here. That's... Um, six and a half minutes i'm gonna drag it into here and you're gonna see it going and what is that 10 seconds if that it's done right and i can refresh here connect to excel so notice here's the mp3 file um it's four megs instead of 116 and the audio quality um is is very good um it, it's at the 96k so crazy fast if you want to drag you can drag multiple files here like this uh, or, like I said, point it to a folder and it will recursively loop over them. So it's just going to go through each one of these and convert them to MP3s. So if you had a seminars or something that you want to listen to and you don't want to have all the, the space taken up, or if your car only plays MP3 files or something, right, it's just a amazing way to convert your files um, and rip them. Now this tool is, it's called, I think, the um, MP3 Ripper. And what we might do is change it to where you can actually convert it to other types of formats, but I like having it just set as MP3 and I don't have to make any other decisions, so it's very simple to use. Uh, it is a cost, I think it's $5.99 on the Automator, but a uh, really great tool. We're using FFmpeg in the background, which is a very robust, amazing tool, but we're wrapping it in a, uh, yeah. So I hope you like that. Please like the video if this is cool. It's all built, this is built with AutoHotKey, wrapping it with FFmpeg. Um, and just interacting with your files. So I hope you like that. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Cheers.